Hey there, friends, and welcome back. Here's a look outside of Canyon Eway Tower Camera. We are done with the rain this morning, but we'll have another round this afternoon after, say, 2 or 3 p.m. as the next round of storms starts to develop, and we have plenty of moisture available, and we'll do so as the day progresses. Let's take it over to our weather graphics. Let's talk about the severe weather from last night. Again, second day in a row, lots of large hail. We had a hen egg sized hail in Friona that's two inches in diameter. That was the biggest they saw. They also saw half dollar size hail, which we also saw here in Amarillo. That's one and a quarter inch in diameter. How about a quarter size hill in Federita in southwestern Kansas, Elkhart, Hugoton, and Dawn. We also had golf ball size hail reported out towards Bushland and Goodwill and ping pong ball size in Hereford and Guymon as well. And you can see uh, two general areas where we had the thunderstorms yesterday, southwestern part of the panhandle, including Amarillo and the Oklahoma panhandle into southwestern Kansas, right along that frontal boundary that ended up moving just a little bit further to the south. We also had a 59 mile per hour wind gust that will be strong straight line winds reported out towards Friona in addition to heavy rain. Now, the sky has cleared out here across the central Texas panhandle. You can see clouds moving in from eastern New Mexico and a few uh, light rain showers trying to fall from Canadian back over towards Perryton up into the eastern Oklahoma panhandle for our friends over towards uh, Beaver and uh, let's see over towards say uh, northern portions of Texas County. A few isolated cells continuing on, but nothing severe. Uh, some lightning will be seen, but that's going to be about it for this morning. That round on the way out by the middle of the day. Temperatures topping out in the lower 70s. Again, plenty of moisture for thunderstorms, which will have from about 3 p.m. on and into the afternoon time, a high temperature of 80 degrees here in Amarillo with winds from the south and southeast at 10 to 20 miles per hour. On the lake levels, let's check on those. Lake Meredith has had a big jump in the last 24 hours thanks to the rain yesterday, 74.70 feet deep. Greenbelt holding steady from what it was 24 hours ago. Ute Lake, not much rain out that way yesterday afternoon at 83.71 feet deep as of right now. now. In the afternoon time, we'll see showers and storms developing a few by the middle of the day that will try to become strong but the better chance for severe weather will be about 4 p.m. on into the evening hours, especially across the eastern parts of the Texas Panhandle. High temperatures today in the 70s and the 80s. And then as we continue on this evening, time will continue on with the threat for a few tornadoes and again, large hail and strong straight line winds. As we continue on into tomorrow morning, most of the heavy rain will be clearing out. We'll have a few light rain showers on the back side of the system as we cool off to the 40s and the 50s. And then for Wednesday afternoon, we'll top out at 76. The main severe weather threats will be east and northeast of us. We'll see a few isolated storms may try and become strong, but the better threat for severe weather is again today. On Thursday, cloudy, cool, a high temperature of 58 and breezy as well. We'll see highs in the 60s from Friday into Saturday with non-severe rain showers possible. Uh, Saturday morning time, continuing on with a few of those. And then on Mother's Day, not too bad, a bit muggy, but fairly pleasant. Otherwise, a high of 70. We'll see the possibility of thunderstorms returning to the high plains as early as next Monday afternoon. You can always check out that 7-day forecast. And don't forget about the interactive radar as well. It can track those storms all of that and more at myplanes.com.